Hello friend, how are you? Today again I am in front of you with a new topic and our, today, our today's uh, topic will be data type. And before we move into the main topic, uh, why we need to learn or uh, need to know about the data types. Because uh, in uh, my previous sessions uh, we have seen that if the data types are, are not same, there is the uh, same type of no same types of data are not uh, actually present or if you make any mistakes uh, defining the data types so what will happen this program cannot be executed so in that regards our data type concept is very much important and uh, in our session today we will discuss about data type and various types of data, uh, data we have and we need to know uh, and data types actually what that is uh, in our previous sessions what we have learned we have learned that uh, 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 we store value or data in a variable like x equal to 5 then x equal to hello I am and something like that and uh, what type of data it will be and uh, that data has to be defined in some cases that is if we are in uh, some different platform then we need to actually identify that data before we move into and uh, python has some built-in data, data type for formats and uh, I, I, you can see there is uh, uh, one uh, there is text type data is called string and this is in short de define str string it means uh, any statement any alphabetical statements or, or, or something or uh, anything we want to express in a statement uh, that is called a string then numerical data types and there are three types of numerical data types one is integer that is the uh, one two three four five six another is float float means 1.5 or, uh, or 1.6 that is any uh, decimal number and uh, is uh, defined as uh, a float and another type is of uh, numerical data type is complex complex uh, we have learned uh, uh, there is uh, a complex number that is a plus uh, b i it means uh, uh, there, there will be two types of uh, value and uh, i is a uh, mm, uh, complex uh, for format number and the value of i is root over a minus one that is uh, a square root of uh, sorry a root of uh, a square root of minus one and uh, we will definitely I will let you know actually what is that say for example if I go here actually what we did these, these are multi uh, uh, what I say? and these are multi line statement and uh, in, our, in our previous session so we have learned that is how we actually uh, define uh, multi uh, multi uh, line um, statements so this is what we have done that is using three uh, or triple quotations so we actually do this and I want that this Python editor should not execute this uh, statement that's why I have used a hash sign that is I made everything comment so uh, so I can write anything uh, over here say for example string actually uh, actually what is called a string or takes type of data of the data say for example I love my or why country and here when I have used double quotations that is uh, uh, then uh, this is a string type of data and if you if we write anything like two or something even though Python will consider this is a string this is not a numerical data type and if uh, uh, it is like this say for example one then two then three these are integer and this type of data is 1.5 and 2.5 
then 3.6 these are float type of data okay and if we go for complex data say for example 1 plus 6 plus 6 j in python th this is called j and um, this is uh, written as like this let me show you for that this will be written like this root over minus one can you remember that so this this is there is a root over minus one equal to the j okay this is the actually the value of this complex a uh, uh, number then there are few types of uh, data, data types that is called, called sequence say for example list and list is defined is square you know within the square bracket sorry and then uh, within the list you can put any number or you can put any string if you put any number then uh, then you have to put comma between uh, two entities or three entities and you we, we can also put some string the Russell okay so this is the f this is the format and uh, another data type is actually tuple and tuple is uh, used uh, within the parentheses tuple and uh, the value uh, within the the list and the t t tuples will be same So, uh, what is the difference between these uh, things? This is actually the um, expressions are not the same, and also there are some characteristics uh, of uh, sets and uh, and tuples. Sets uh, lists are mutable. That is, you can change anything uh, using these sets, uh, but uh, in tuple you cannot do that. That is, in tuple the elements are immutable. Okay, and uh, this is how a range is defined and how actually what is that is I want to write something like 1 to 5 or, or 1 to 6 then uh, I what will have to do I have to define 5 or 6 value or I have to run a loop out of that but I don't want I want to express it in a very short way so in order to do so I can use range okay that is range from from a state from a start point and to end point and uh, we can use this uh, also to index this and uh, another is mapping this is very important while we will uh, perform our data science pro project then uh, DICT that is called dictionary dictionary actually what happens within the dictionary in our dictionary uh, the regular dictionary book type the Oxford or Cambridge dictionary we see uh, we see uh, if you uh, we if you want to find any uh, uh, meaning of uh, of any word what do we do we find the word in the dictionary and we get the meaning out of that so in dictionary uh, we can uh, use these concepts say for example um, russell sorry i need to put some more quotation out of that then we have to put this column then I will go then uh, iPhone so it means if I this proportion is called key and if I call this key I will get this result so actually well while, while we will uh, uh, be performing lots of operations this concept dictionary concept it will be very much needed and also if you want to make another key just give a comma and after that write another thing so for example Kamal
clone um, Samsung. So this is how we form our dictionary and after that there is a uh, thing called set. Set actually set and frozen set are same and in order to write the expression of set you need to actually uh, put some uh, uh, put curly braces Uh, and frozen set are also same the difference between the set and frozen set sets actually uh, it is mutable and another thing it has no uh, fixed uh, indexing that is uh, after performing a uh, first time any set value uh, while we'll actually uh, call this same set in second time the order may vary that is uh, so there is no order actually and also it is a mutable thing and frozen set that did and uh, this is a um, mutable anything you can uh, add any can you can subtend append or pop uh, uh, remove insert delete uh, you can do that but from frozen set this is immutable you cannot do that this is the different and another thing is called boolean boolean actually statements that stands for two things true and false say for example x equal to 5 and um, uh, if uh, x is less than um four then print true sorry then it will print uh, uh false that is any statement which if it is true or false that definition will be done from these uh, boolean expressions and another is called binary expressions i know machines are also uh, very comfortable and uh, this uh, understands the binary that is called zero on one and these binary uh, things are depends on uh, bytes uh, then uh, uh, bytery then memory view and so and so and uh, uh, you understand byte that is um, the smallest unit of any data is called bit and uh, eight unit uh, at a time uh, actually is called uh, bytes and binary um, binary actually is a concept of uh, writing the binary th um, um, expressions or binary digits that is actually uh, every expression will be all be defined in 8 bit and memory view is uh, is also another co uh, concepts and it follows the uh, buffer algorithm uh, these are some advanced things we right now in uh, don't need it but just keep in mind this word that is a buffer algorithm actually what buffer algorithm uh, actually um, how can I make how can I make you understand what is called actually buffer algorithm um, buffer algorithm buffer algorithm um, Uh, this is uh, I'm not also clear but uh, this is I, I, I understand but it's hard for me to m make you understand that is but I later will did, uh, will be discussing thing did this was all about uh, the data types uh, and things uh, we have learned so far and now we will go, go for some exercise actually how data type works and how this thing will go on say for example the and uh, this is the expressions of data type so for x is 5 and uh, if we want to know that uh, what type of data it is just run it you will see oh there is a syntax error okay leave it It means is it belongs to class integer. I have already showed. I have already show, I have already told that actually what is integer one two three four something like that. This is integer, and if it is uh, point five, point 
0.5 this will uh, run as float then if it is like this plus uh, 6j then this will run as complex see actually what type of data it is so uh, this uh, the type of data or the uh, how this data is this is called actually data type so we will uh, actually remember what type um, uh, how this will work and how th th this will actually uh, um, uh, be used in our uh, system uh, so what type if the data type are not same and the operation the will not be same say for example we cannot add any string and any integer together any float and any um, any uh, let's say can we run that or not let's not see the type we just directly print this thing will it yes since both are, uh, uh, can you remember that string and the number? There is text and number you cannot add up. But since they belong to the same class, there is uh, same thing. Uh, maybe the types are different, but they can uh, add up, or of they they can actually give an output actually what is happening here i have written an uh, integer and another it is uh, um, float and while i am expressing this is already being executed this is the beauty of this uh, thing and uh, i really appreciate that you are uh, 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 you you are um, uh, with me i request you with you uh, i i i i just um, uh, will make a request to you that is uh, put your comments over here let me know how can i be more clear uh, uh, so that i can be uh, uh, very easy going with you uh, thank you so much uh, thank you for your kindness and uh, I request you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that uh, as soon as I uh, publish any new video in my channel you can uh, learn this or you can get this uh, uh, and you, by just by having a uh, notifications thank you bye bye